What's going on everyone like sports back with another video and in this video I'm going to be recapping the New York Giants wild card win against the Minnesota Vikings uh, as they beat the Vikings by a score of 31 to 24 yesterday and I, I apologize that this video is a day late. I'm not going to lie to you I was very excited yesterday and I couldn't get a video out I had to rewatch quite a bit of the game to kind of really get a grasp of it because you know when you're watching a game with this magnitude and how stressed I was throughout the game, I couldn't really exactly grasp the entire game. You know, obviously I remember everything off first glance, but you didn't, you know, you don't really get to see the entire field. You know, you're kind of locked in. So um, I went over, you know, a bunch of plays um, and I'm going to have a, hopefully what you guys think is a good analysis on this game. The Giants win 31-24, and we're going to get ready to go to Philadelphia for sun Saturday night as we're taking on the Eagles at uh, at 7:15 or sorry 8:15 Eastern time on Saturday night. But I had a Giants win in my prediction. I had 27-24, so it was pretty close. And um, you know this game was terrific from start to finish. I think um, you know Daniel Jones was by far the best player on the football field. It was not even close. This was probably his best game as a Giant. And if right now you don't think that he is the franchise guy here in New York, or at least going to be back here next year, um, you know, you're, you're clearly missing something. And, um, you know, same same goes for Saquon Barkley. These guys are, um, you know, these, these guys are our football team, you know, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Um, you know, so... Uh, looking at Jones's numbers for the people that love numbers because you know everyone you know that didn't want Jones back were saying oh Jones doesn't throw 300 yards passing ever um he did it in a playoff game in his first career playoff game and there was a num a stat he was the first guy to um pass for 300 and throw for 75 yards and win the game in a playoff game there were two others to do it that was Steve Young and Lamar Jackson but they both lost so Jones made history and he was 24 for 35 with 301 passing yards, two touchdowns, 17 rushes for 78 yards. Um, Barkley had nine rushes for 53 yards and those two, of course, those two big touchdowns as Barkley continues, um, you know, to be Saquon Barkley. Breida was really good in this game. He had three um, rushes for eight yards. But um, if you look at those those three runs, they were some of the biggest, um, you know, runs not only of the game, but arguably the season. Um, they were really big, particularly that third and one where he should have lost the yard and he made a great effort to get the first down. That was sensational. Darius Slayton also had one rush for three yards on that kind of jet sweep end around type play. Um, Kafka tried to get cute. And let me say this about Kafka. He is sensational. I mean, he opened up a whole new can of worms for this playoff game. I mean, um, you know, it was just sensational. His play calling and, you know, when to do what was just terrific. No question about it. And, um, you know, another thing that I will actually doesn't really belong in this video, but um, Kafka had two head coaching interviews. He's now got three. He got one more today. Um, you know, and now Wink Martindale's got one with the Colts. So let's hope that those guys don't go anywhere because I really, really like them. You know, and, um, you know, I think they're really valuable to this football team. I, I really think that they're really key. And, um, you know, I, I really, really hope that we can, um, you know, keep these guys here because, you know, they're a big piece of, to this coaching staff. And, and, I, and I really just hope we can keep this entire team together and just not lose anything, but let's just add in the offseason. But that's not for this video. Hodgins had eight catches for 105 yards and a touchdown. He was great. Darius Slayton had four catches for 88 yards. Um, you know, some nice big plays, good plays. He had a one. He had one drop that could have cost us the game because it was that third and 15, I think, on the last drive where he catches that ball. He's going for the first down, and the game is over. Um, you know, so that was that was extremely tough. Um, but you know, his defense bailed him out. He was definitely relieved. You could tell, and Dable was just like, you know, All right, calm down. Your team's gonna. You know, your team's going to get this back for you, and, and they did that. Um, Barkley was great out of the, you know, in terms of the pa passing game. Five catches for 56 yards. Richie James had four catches for 31 yards. It seemed like he had more because of the magnitude of how big the plays were. 
Um, you know, he caught some really big, uh, big catches. He probably had a few first downs, at least a couple. Um, you know, and then of course we had Bellinger for two catches and uh, including a touchdown for 17 yards. Kadra had a catch for four yards. Um, you know, and then defensively we didn't ever sack Kirk Cousins, but it was unbelievable the pressure we were able to get up the middle with Dexter Lawrence. Um, you know, and let me say this, um, the officiating was god awful in this football game. That rough in the passer call sucked ass on Dexter Lawrence on that last Vikings drive. Um, you know, that was ridiculous. On one of the Minnesota touchdowns, I believe it was the second one to uh KJ Osborne. I think it was. Um Kayvon Thibodeau was tackled. Not only was he held, he was tackled. That should have negated the touchdown, but it was not called. There were a lot of bad calls in this football game, but we were able to overcome it. And then, of course, the tackling for the Giants was fantastic. Cordell Flott had a huge play in this football game. Um, You know, just unbelievable plays from this entire Giants football team. And even if it was like a little block, how about Kenny Galladay? That was a $72 million block if I've ever seen one. Just tremendous from Galladay, um, you know, and he was uh, he was really, you know, he didn't get on the field much, but when he did, he you know, he, you kind of noticed him, um, you know, and, and it's something that you won't see on the stat sheet. So, um, you know, that, that, was, that was good. And, um, you know, I, I just think that this Giants team is clicking and everybody's playing well, and that goes to show you how good th- this coaching is, but... We're going to get into off-season content and how good this team is in the off-season because we got some, uh, you know, a big game ahead of us. You know, this one was great, um, you know, and and just everybody made a play here and there, even if it was a small play. Um, McKinney at the end of the, the game, um, you know, with that tackle on TJ Hawkinson, you know, overall, Dory Jackson's play on Jefferson was sensational. Um, you know, our, our adjustments, our, our defensive schemes, our game plan going in was just great. You know, everything about this football game was really, really good um, for the Gi- Giants. And, you know, you know that Brian Dayball is going to have a good game plan and, and, and his coaching staff is going to have a good game plan for Saturday night in Philadelphia against the Eagles because that is just so important. Um, you know, so I'm really looking forward to that game. It was it was really good, and um, you know, it's going to be a long week again, and and it's it's five days from now, um, you know. But we'll see. It's 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 going to be exciting. I'm going to have a ton of videos coming up, um, you know, throughout the week. Not only on the Giants, but Leafs, Raptors, um, Jays. If if you know a video needs to you know be uh, put out, but just unbelievable game from the Giants. Um, like I said, for the Giants, everyone has stepped up. Um, you know, they were able to, even if it was a small play or one you're not going to see on the stat sheet, it was tremendous. Um, you know, the pass rush was there. One bad thing about this football game is he's got hurt and Jason Pinnock got hurt. But they're both day-to-day, so it seems like they should be fine. But guys, as I got in this video, you guys let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on this Giants win. Biggest win since our Super Bowl victory in 2011. Um... I couldn't be happier right now. It's unbelievable. What a time to be a Giants fan. And it was supposed to be a rebuilding year. We're going to the divisional round. I'm super excited. You guys let me know the good stuff down in the comment section. As always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. See you guys on the next video. And as always, let's go Giants.